Hey everyone, my name is Brandon Summers. I'm the PFR lead here at our Henderson, Kentucky site. With me today, I've got Camille Lambert. She's the field agronomist for this area. And uh, we're finishing up wheat harvest here on the farm today. And we're pretty excited about the results we're seeing from this year's plots. Uh, one in particular is our fungicide study on wheat. And Camille's gonna explain to you why that's such an important application when we're really shooting for high yields on wheat. And uh, she's gonna take it from here. Yeah, so um, most of the people that are growing wheat now are higher managers, right? So how can we take our, our wheat yield to the next level? And one of those ways is a fungicide application. We wanna keep that plant healthy as long as we can so we can extend the grain fill period. So when we test fungicides, we often get asked what fungicide is the best and what timing should I apply it? So today I just wanna tell you just a little bit about both of those um, and, and what decision can you can make on your farm. So Feex 8, 9, right in that range is your flag leaf. So that flag leaf is what you would compare to like your ear leaf on corn. So we wanna make sure we keep that, that leaf healthy because that is the leaf that's getting a lot of sunlight and we're determining some yield by protecting that leaf. So some of these early season foliar diseases, if we spray during that time, we can keep that plant healthier. So that's why you would make an earlier season application. However, Feeks 1051, which is your flowering stage, that is when we're protecting against some of these later diseases like head scab that can be such a big problem. This year, we didn't have a lot of, uh, of disease pressure come in. Our wheat stayed pretty healthy. However, we had two cold events that occurred. We we're lucky here at our Henderson facility, we didn't have a lot of freeze injury. However, a lot of the Southern Territory had major freeze incidents that occurred. So if we can just keep that plant a little more healthy, maybe it can protect us a little better on some of these issues that we have every year. So when we test a product, we test it for three years, right? So when we test a product for three years and have an average positive return on investment, we'll put our stamp of approval on it. So we've got two PFR proven products right now on fungicides, right? Yes, uh, one being Caramba, the other being Persaro. I'm sure many of you guys have heard of those two products before, but they are PFR proven uh, products for wheat. We also have another one called Palisade, which is a plant mm -hmm. growth regulator. Uh, that really helps us to keep that wheat standing and allows us to push it just a little bit harder to really uh, pump the yield out of it. Yeah, so what Palisade will do, it's a growth regulator, so it's going to shorten the length between your nodes and help prevent some of that late season lodging that occurs. Um, so going back to our fungicides, um, we are currently testing three new products. So we've got Mirvis Ace, which there's been a lot of hype about. It's a brand new active ingredient called Adepidin, and it's an SDHI paired with a propiconazole. So we've seen some really good results. You were talking about the, your view from the combine. Yeah, from the combine, the wheat just looks healthier with the Mirvis Ace. Uh, the straw definitely has a brighter color to it compared to our control. So we're, we're really excited to see exactly how the yield results turn out, but uh, things look very promising for that product this year. Yeah, so we tested it last year and it went head to head with Nexicor, um, which is the same active ingredient as what you have in Headline. And it also has that propiconazole in it. And then we also tested Top Guard. So you've also got an azoxystrobe in there and a DMI. So three really good promising products and this is the second year that we're putting them to the test so we're going to see if we can make those pfr proven yep so thanks again for joining us uh, i'd like to encourage you to subscribe like and follow us on twitter at at bex hybrids uh, thanks again for joining us see ya